These are cute, the signs here at Trader Joe's, y'all, look. <laughs> That's cute. There we go, we can get more in. See the signs at Trader Joe's? So adorable, and then that one says that. <laughs> Very, very cute. Creative. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Journey with Char on this lovely Tuesday. Um, I come to you today with a small haul, some things that I got from Trader Joe's, some new items that I've seen that they have and I wanted to just show you. So here we go, let's get started with this haul here. Okay, so I started off with the Wild Alaska Marinated Salmon. I got this from Costco, okay, got this from Costco. And then this one, the Southern Chicken Bites. I got this from Walmart. Y'all gonna say she went everywhere. Yes, she did. Y'all know how I get out and I do my thing. And I don't stop until I get every little thing that I need from each store. Went by Costco and got some of these cuties. We've already gone into these. And then also, this is Trader Joe's. So I got an onion from Trader Joe's because I need an onion tonight. Got a lemon because I need a lemon tonight. I'm making some fish. But this right here is the Colorful Carrot Coins. This looks so delicious. Let me hold that up. And I cannot wait to try that different colored carrots. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. And then this one is the fresh green beans. Absolutely delicious and absolutely love it. Okay, and then the next thing we got from Trader Joe's is the traditional Latkes potato pancakes. 
These I heard are amazing and you can have them with either sour cream or applesauce. So I'm gonna try them with both, but I cannot wait to see if um, the Trader Joe's brand is really, really good. I know the homemade is best, but cannot wait to try that. Next thing we have here are these lemon wafer cookies. These are very popular. They're long, beautiful, pencil shaped like cookies. Um, wafer and they are I heard absolutely delicious so we got some of these got the popcorn that we always usually get the white cheddar popcorn this is for Friday um, evening we always call it movie evening movie night so that's like for Friday movie night we also got these butter waffle cookies oh my god y'all I did that charcuterie board during the holidays and I had some of these cookies that was in the cookie kit um, the cookie little group of cookies that I bought from Trader Joe's. They were absolutely amazing. So we got some of these and I just want a cup of tea or um, some coffee and I'll just get like one or two cookies out of these. But they are absolutely delicious. Do not sleep on those. Okay, next thing we have here that is new is the macaroon uh, framboses, I think, raspberry macaroon cake. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Y'all, I love macaroons. And the fact that this is a cake, it's a raspberry cake. And so when I open this, when I do, I will show you guys for those of you who are interested and love macaroons like I do. Okay, the next thing we have here is this organic bowl, this acai bowl bowl. I cannot wait to try this. And I think it's got the strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and granola and dried coconut included into this. And I am just ecstatic about trying this. I heard it's pretty good. So that's all the ingredients there if you are interested before you go purchase it. And yeah, so I can't wait to try that. And then also they had this Greek yogurt. It's 100 degrees tomorrow. And we are like, in when we're here in the house, honey, it gets too hot, you want a cool treat. So this is a strawberry Greek frozen yogurt parfait bars. Um, Greek frozen yogurt bars with strawberries and granola clusters inside the bar. That sounds amazing, you guys. So yes, I mean, and I think you get four bars in here, four individual bars, and they look like they're just delicious. I love yogurt and I love granola. Okay, next thing we got, I got some cilantro tonight because I made some avocado today. I added um, onions and I added the tomatoes, a little bit of lemon, and I'm gonna add some cilantro to it. And we're gonna have that with some fish tonight. So I got the cilantro, organic cilantro from Trader Joe's. And then also, y'all, the other day I bought the triple cheese. Oh my God. I'm so spoiled when it comes to the brie cheese, y'all. And they have the best brie cheese. Let's see, there we go. They have the best brie cheese. So Joshua stopped by the store before he came home tonight and got his mother another one of these. Oh my gosh. You get you some grapes. You get you some apples and uh, cherries, whatever fruit. Cut up a few of these and then you include these delicious assortment crackers, whichever one you choose, honey. You have your own lunchtime charcuterie board, okay? <laughs> so yes, that is the triple cream brie, which I absolutely love this cheese. Okay, next thing I got, and I wanted to show you, I went ahead on and opened it. This is the super smoothie, okay, that we get from um, Costco, and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So that is what the pack looked like, and that is a pretty big pack, and the green is the super greens. It all um, comes together as you smooth it. You see that green in there? So yes, and including in this is blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, and banana. I absolutely love this, and I use it with my my green powder and my um, protein, and it is so good. Okay, so then we got another onion here. Like I told you, I went to Ralph's and got, Joshua got me another onion for Ralph's. I don't know why he did that two different places. But we have some celery here, because I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie for him. And then we have the organic eggs, and I have like uh, four organic sweet potatoes here. And some almond extract, because I'm going to make another cake. There was a request for me to make um, a pound cake, um, another pound cake, so I needed more almonds. So I got the Kroger Pure Almond Extract. And then Joshua got his favorite treat, the Ritter Sports, which I absolutely love myself, so he's gonna be in trouble. I'm going to add this to a um, Trader Joe's haul, if not just do this separate. But this was a really quick run that I did um, 
earlier today and I wanted to show you everything I got. Trader Joe's chocolate chump, um, chocolate chip cookie dough is absolutely amazing. This is so good. I absolutely love their cookie dough and these are all the ingredients for those of you who want to know that's the ingredients and that is everything as far as the um, nutrition facts okay and so yes these are absolutely amazing love Trader Joe's cookie dough and we got our kale there we go and you're gonna see the video of mom and I going inside the store with this one okay and then we have with this haul and then we have our organic um, blueberries of course we have our organic strawberries yes next thing we have here is some organic salsa this is really good it's medium y'all look at all that you can just tell the ingredients in here if you don't feel like making your own salsa honey they got they they, they really do a good salsa here so we got that we already have some organic chips the chips that I'm going to show you come from um, Costco okay absolutely love these chips they're whole grain very very good chips but also Trader Joe's has some great ones I've done them before the Trader Joe's um, the ones that are saltless yeah so these are the chips that we usually eat with the salsa right there and this is the food should taste good organic multi-grain tortilla chips these are absolutely amazing and mom and I have been killing these with guacamole <laughs> okay and so you guys okay so this is a story about this really really quick so if you don't know I brought I bought the um, pioneer woman bread machine by Hamilton Beach and I cannot wait to use it so excited to use it but could not find yeast there is a guy in locally in our area he has been buying up all the yeast in all of our stores and he has been creating like bake boxes on his website and has been selling and they said this is who is buying up all the yeast it was even on the news so I'm like what in the world so anyway this yeast the Saf instant yeast um, was at Trader Joe's um, and it was hard to stay in stock I did not get this in stock but I wanted to show you they do sell this at Trader Joe's however every single one was sold out and they were like I don't even know if we're gonna get any more this season we're trying to order it it's hard to order yada 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 so I went on eBay and I ordered it. This yeast is regular $3.99. I had to pay, I think I got a good deal. She was searching, searching, searching. And I think I paid seven bucks for this. But some people are paying $15, $20, $30. And I got a good deal on the shipping handling free. So got this and I'm so excited. And this is a date of production. I don't know where is this product from. Uh, oh, it's from Mexico. But it is a a, a well-known yeast phenomenal everybody went nuts over it so now I'm gonna make some bread I'm really excited about it. so this is the Saf instant yeast and they do sell this at Trader Joe's see if they still have it available at your local Trader Joe's it's supposed to be a really fantastic yeast and it's only I believe $3.99 okay the next thing that I have here is the organic virgin olive oil um, love cooking with this making um salad dressing and all that other good stuff and so yes so we got the virgin olive oil and I am so excited about this item here you guys see that so let me get closer so this is the watermelon can y'all see that the watermelon facial mist refresh and hydrate spray I have the rose spray and I absolutely love the rose spray my skin loves it so this one looks like it's like some oil in here y'all see the two tones so let me shake it and see so yeah this one oh yeah you shake it up really really good and spray it in summertime you want that nice mist and then it's watermelon yes I love me some watermelon honey all day and I love the scent of watermelon not as perfume but like a mist on your face that just sounds refreshing and I love the fact that they did it in watermelon color is that not cute that cute like pinkish red and then the green top that is so adorable and then next we have here is this watermelon overnight mask y'all I went to my Trader Joe's sold out went to another one sold out went to another one and they had about maybe 15 left I don't know what's going on and they're all like maybe two miles away from each other but one just happened to have 
a bunch of them. So I was really happy to see this. And you guys, these are, I don't know if you can see that. You can pause it so you can see if this agrees with your skin. And then on the back, this is what it's saying there. If you can pause it, I hope you can see it and it's not blurry. And then the, uh, recommended uses. So what you would do is before you go to bed at night, you wash your face, but you put this on and rub it in your face really good and go to bed. Next morning, you wash it off. Isn't that amazing? So let's open it. I love the packaging. It's really, really cute. And we're gonna open it. And I'm just so excited about trying this. It says sweet dreams. Isn't that cute with the watermelon with the little cloud? I'm done. That is too cute. I'm gonna pop open this spray. I'm gonna smell it for y'all. So there we go. Oh, it smells just like watermelon. It is so refreshing. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. That smells wonderful. Okay, and then this one. We have a little top, and I'm just gonna smell. So that's what the cream looks like. And it smells exactly like watermelon. <laughs> so I don't know, some of you people who are dermatologists may say, oh, well that's the scent, and it's not good. Child, my face is not that sensitive, but I'm gonna see how it works overnight. Just to see if my face like it. This is cute for summer. Just something, it says plant-derived uh, squalling. Squalling, can y'all see that? Y'all read that for yourself. There we go. And yeah, that's what it has on the back. Okay. And it smells yummy, so you can't eat this. Make sure you don't eat it, because it smells yummy. But anyway, that's it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it, so I cannot wait. And then we, um, I also went to Ralph's. This is a separate little haul. I went to Ralph's and I got some Ritz, because sometimes I like to have my dip with this, or either cheese and crackers with this, or some tuna. And then we also have some avocado here. I'm gonna wait for these to ripe and I'm gonna make some guacamole. Guacamole, we cannot wait. And that is everything, okay, you guys? So thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Char. And if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell because every time I upload a new video, it will let you know um, that Journey with Shar has just uploaded a video. Video. It is send you a message in your email or even sometimes on your phone. And so thank you so much for tuning in. You guys be blessed and please be careful. Love each other. Love one another. Understand one another. Choose to understand one another. Open your hearts and your mind and love and embrace and love one another because Ultimately, it's all about the Heavenly Father. It's all about God and we're all his children and he wants us to love one another. So take care of one another and please be safe. Remember, trust God, keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.